Japanese squid balls. Mm. So good. I have to have my rice when I'm eating Asian food. This is the Filipino way of eating shrimp. Suck on the head. So now I'm gonna start the chicharrones de pescado. What it is really is a fried fish, but the fish is so thinly cut that uh, it is like a chicharron. has a very extremely diversified culture here. The melting pot of a lot of races and there's El Salvadoran, Honduran, Mexican, I mean everything that you could think of. And so today I am in El Salvadoran restaurant and this is called Polpitos al Gusto. This is actually squid, octopus they call it, but it looks like squid to me and fried with a special sauce. I still don't know what it is, but it has tomatoes and cucumbers and maybe vinegar, I don't know. And this is camarones de pescado. Camarones, it's fried fish. This is just appetizer, would you believe that? Just appetizer. Let me tell you, this is so good. So it is just fried. I think there's a little bit of vinegar. And on the side, there's onions, which you're supposed to eat it with. Tomatoes and cucumbers. Can you stand my onion breath after? Anyway, with the onions, it is Incredibly good, incredibly good. The onion adds a flavor that I don't, I can't really describe. So now I'm gonna start the chicharrones de pescado. What it is really is a fried fish, but the fish is so thinly cut that uh, it is like a chicharron. It's so spicy, too spicy for me. It's the sauce that is spicy, the fish is perfect. I had said that this is just the appetizer, so I am now looking forward for the main course. So I have the menu here because it's such a long name. Pelete, empapelado, relleno, con camarón y pulpo. So what it is really is steamed seafood, fish filet with shrimp and octopus for only $21.95. Incredible. You have all of this seafood. This is the El Salvador taco. Oh. Mm, 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 mm. Ben, I think you're gonna have to pull out your lactate because it's loaded with shrimps. No, not shrimps, loaded with cheese. We love cheese, but our stomach don't like cheese. Okay, love it. everyone, I am in a restaurant picking up food and it's called Kikin Kation. Kick. It's Kikin because it's spicy. So it is Kikin Kation because it's Asian. So it is a pickup kind of dinner. So follow me to my home and you will find out what we are going to have for dinner. Thank you. Pretty heavy and you'll find out why. Kikin Kation. Normally, if we were in normal times, we would be eating at the restaurant, but right now it is uh, takeout dining. And as you can see, this is seafood and it is Creole Asian cooking. My favorite is the hot dog. My daughter's favorite is the shrimp with oranges and uh, we eat with our hands. Lemons. Lemons, I mean, with lemons. Let me correct myself, it's my daughter who orders this food, so I'm not exactly the expert, I just eat. So she corrects me that this is not a hot dog, it is a sausage, and it's really good. Right, Jer? It is very good, <laughs> absolutely. Thank you, Mama. For You're welcome. The secret to the goodness of this dish. Squish the sauce spices at the bottom, and you pour it on the sausage, the shrimp, and your rice. 
This is the type of the food, type of food that if it's not messy, it's not worth eating. So <laughs> get in there, don't fill up, don't be afraid, to just really enjoy it. Mm -hmm. So this is a Filipino way of eating a shrimp. Suck on the head. Get up in there. <laughs> I'm the only one who does that in this family. <laughs> you really got to get in there and just, just taste the, uh, you know, the fear of the shrimp and the grass. <laughs> We are here tonight at Kopan Ramen. It is a ramen place, Japanese restaurant, which specializes in soup-based uh, cuisine called ramen. And this is what it is. Very good. Japanese squid balls. Mmm. So good. I have to have my rice when I'm eating Asian food. It's never complete without rice. This is Los Angeles diversified culture for you. 